Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have a brand new project pan. This is the Pan What May, a Moulin Rouge project pan. This was created by Anna, whose channel is My Makeup Insanity, and this is a Fantastic Ladies collab. I will have all of that linked down below, as well as a list of everybody else who is doing this project here on YouTube, as well as over on Instagram. If you wanna look this up, use the hashtag Pan What May. Uh, that's the one we are using for this project. So it starts on August 15th, and it ends on November 14th, so it is a three month long project pan. It is nice and short with just a couple of prompts. So we will have two updates and then a finale. So the, uh, Anna has given us four prompts and then a bonus fifth prompt. Um, so before I get into all of that and tell you guys the prompts and what items I have chosen, let me quickly tell you what I have on my eyes for the 365 Days of Eyeshadows Challenge. I'm wearing this Nomad Iceland Fire and Ice Palette. It is beautiful. So I am wearing these shades right here and this one over here. So I have one, two, three uh, matte shadows. And then I have worn this purple on the outer part of my eyelid, then blended into this blue, and then this one is a silver. So I um, will give you, I'll just show you really quickly what these three shimmers look like. As you can see, I went from purple to blue, and this one is silver. It is beautiful. So I absolutely love these shades. There's some swatches, and this is just an amazing palette. I highly recommend it. So let me go ahead and jump into the new project so that I can tell you guys what I'm gonna be working on. Um, the first one is Welcome to the Moulin Rouge, a red or rouge colored product. For that, I have chosen an Ace Boutique lip liner in the shade, so gorgeous. So I will roll it up and measure it and everything. Um, for you guys, but it is the slowest product to ever roll up, so I will do that off camera. But this is it right here. I don't know if I can finish this in three months, but we're gonna give it a try. This goes really well with the red lipstick I'm working on in the Throwback 30, so I thought it'd be perfect to roll into this project. Next one is Lady M. This is a product or a brand that starts with the letter M, so for that, I chose my Murad Replenishing Multi-Acid Peel. As you can see, it is brand new. It is full to the top. I have never used this, and it is a smaller one. And that is simply because this is a short-term project and I want to be able to finish this up. I will most likely wait a month or so before I start working on this because I am working on another product that does something very similar and I do not want to have any type of reaction. So once I finish up that other product, then I will work on this one. Next is because you pan, 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 an item that you pan over and over again. And for me, that is black eyeliner. And it can be in any form. It can be a twist up black eyeliner. It can be a gel, like a cream gel pot of black eyeliner, or this one that is a pen eyeliner. This is the Tarte Maneater Liquid Liner. I will give you a swatch of this one. It has a brush tip applicator, which I really like. And it is a very, deep, intense black color. I really like this one. This has 0.5 mils of product in here. It is tiny, so I'm really hoping that this one can be finished in three months. I have been working on a couple of creme gel eyeliners. I've been working on a burgundy one that I'm actually wearing today, and then a brown one. I have been missing having a black eyeliner to wear, so that's why I'm putting this one in the project. Prompt number four, it's the Sparkling Diamond, a sparkly product or packaging. And this is the packaging I chose. It is a magnetic palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which as you can see is completely sparkly and glittery. And I have depotted my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette into here. These two eyeshadows that are missing are in the Panners pan for two different panners. So for this one, it was supposed to be, uh, like I said, sparkly product or packaging. So I chose a shimmer shade that is a bit sparkly. And this is the shade Candy Floss. So I want to try to hit pan in Candy Floss. It is a shimmer shade. Whenever I hear Candy Floss, it makes me think of my wife because that's what she calls cotton candy, which I know a ton of you around the world do. But here in the United States, we call it um, cotton candy. So this is what Candy Floss looks like right here. So 
really pretty shimmery shade. So those are the four prompts Anna provided, and then she did give us a bonus fifth one if we want to do it, and the bonus is Dying of Consumption, a blood or death themed product. So since it said blood, I went again with my Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette, and I chose to work on another shade, and this one is called Sugar Cane. It is a matte light pink color. Let me give you a swatch of that one. This I think will work with as just a basic transition shade on several of the shades that I'm working on. Hopefully you guys can see it, it is very light. So I'm hoping that these two pinks will, again, uh, encourage me to use my reds in my Modern Renaissance palette, which is my Pan That palette. You guys um, often ask me how I'm able to work on so many eyeshadows and projects, and it's because I choose items like this that coordinate with shadows that I'm already working on so I can easily wear these while I'm also working on my Pan That palette. Um, and it, anyway, I hope that makes sense how I choose them, um, but these will coordinate really well. So my goal for both of these eyeshadows, if I didn't say it, is to try to hit pan in them. This matte one is going to be really difficult. His matte eyeshadows are packed pretty densely, so I'm going to be trying really hard to hit pan in three months. I don't know if I can do it, but that's the goal anyway. So these are the products that I will be working on. If you guys want to check out everybody else, please do. If Anna puts together a playlist, uh, like a YouTube playlist, I will add that to my description box once that is up, if she decides to do that. Um, but everything can be found down in my description box. Um, the prompts, everything I'm working on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to join along, please feel free to do so. It is open to anybody who wants to do it. If you guys haven't already, I hope that you will please subscribe to my channel before you leave and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.